Good morning, good people. Uh, today, I just want to talk about the process after your offer has been accepted. So, there's a process that happens, and it takes 30 days, sometimes less, um, especially with cash offers. Um, when you have an accepted offer, you go through due diligence, okay? A lot of people don't understand what due diligence is. So this is the time to get all negotiations out of the way. Uh, this is also a time to uh, make sure that the house is inspected and you basically are getting what you want out of the house, out of the sellers. Um, not in this market, but you can negotiate at this time. Uh, your closing costs, who pays what, all right? Uh, this market right now, every buyer is paying the closing costs in full. And uh, once you get through this uh, first initial thing of the inspection, uh, the inspector comes out and he says, oh yeah, the house is great, the house is good, let's move on. Um, once you come out of due diligence, then you are getting prepared to enter into the big A word, appraisal, all right? Everybody, this is the most nervous time for both sides because you don't really know. You, you have no idea if the appraisal is going to, the appraiser is going to appraise the house at the number that everybody negotiated before you even got there, okay? This this is usually it's dependent upon the house, but sometimes it's usually between four fifty and six hundred dollars. Four hundred to six hundred dollars. You're paying somebody to say, How much is this house worth? Tell me now. And that appraiser says, I tell you when I tell you, uh, you might like it, you might not. Alright. So the whole deal sometimes comes together and falls apart on their praise. All right, so this is the most nervous time for, especially for a new buyer, uh, first time home buyer. And as a first, as an agent, I and a word to other agents, put your clients at ease. Clients, understand that everything will be okay. We will figure out a way that if that house doesn't appraise what we have right now uh if the house doesn't appraise sometimes the the buyer backs out i mean with the seller you know doesn't want to come down on the price or you know the the buyer fi figure out a way to meet the seller at the offer offering price that they have and it's a, it's definitely a negotiation to, um, situation, and you want to have all your tools in place uh, as an agent. You want to have everything ready for this appraisal, and it'll make or break a deal. It really will. And the thing is, you you want both sides to be happy, but you owe a fiduciary duty I owe a fiduciary duty to my clients to give them the best deal possible and then once you get past the appraisal it's smooth selling from there um, you know if both sides agree to the price and the appraiser uh, appraised the house at what he you know at the accurate price of what you're offering then you have maybe a week two weeks to finish up everything and then you get to the closing table all nerves in at the closing table okay especially with me because um i never close the deal without food of course i'm not little i'm six two and some pounds and uh yeah i do not close the house without having food present because everybody loves to break bread okay when you're breaking bread is it's no unhappy faces in the room. Now, 28 days prior, everybody could be cussing everybody out. But when you get to that closing table, 
and you see that that food you ordered and you look across and you know that you're about to either sell or buy this house everybody's happy all right so to my client to my agents have food ready to my clients understand that the 28 days is when you look back on this it's not gonna be that big of a deal just trust your agent trust the systems trust the process know that 28 days or 35 days or 60 days is normal all right and i played some good beats in the beginning um tinkering with some things so let me know in the comments how how it's going you know and then we're just gonna rock out all the way to the end